Uh, today we're going to be examining the life and the achievements of Melba Roy Mouton and we're going to appreciate her role in the development of both maths and computing in her work for NASA. So uh, Melba was born in 1929 in, uh, in Virginia in Fairfax. She graduated from Howard University, here it is, uh, at Washington DC in 1950 with a master's degree in, in mathematics. Um, whilst at university, she was the president of the, of the Kelly Miller chapter of Future Teachers of America. She was also a member of the NCAAP, uh, the Mathematics Club at the university, and the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Melba started working for NASA in 1959. She worked in the division that involved a trajectory in geodynamics. Um, she was a brilliant uh, worker, a uh, highly logical brain. She also had uh, an affinity for computing uh, devices and computational thinking, in fact. In 1960, she led a team of NASA mathematicians um, who themselves were known as computers because they would compute the state of something um, in tracking the orbit of the, the Echo 1 satellite, and here it is um, from archive footage at the time. What's interesting is that whilst she was working at the, at the at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, she also served as an instructor to teach the, um, something called the A Programming Language, um, APL. And this is uh, programming software, which pioneered the use of multidimensional arrays back in the, in the 60s. She actually became the chief programmer, and using this software, she was able to track the location, the trajectories of various spacecraft, Echo 1 and Echo 2, its, uh, its successor and various other two. Uh, is a lovely screenshot of some of, the, um, of, some of the, the detail of the program. Now, what her work enabled NASA to do was not just launch satellites with a whole lot more accuracy than had gone before, but also to keep track of them and uh, in, uh, of, of everything else. Um, so it launched the satellites, it tracked them into a, a, a stable orbit, and it tracked everything else around them. Hugely difficult work in the, in the 60s. What I also really like about Melba is that she promoted the importance of descriptive um, program documentation for long-term projects, for long-term programs, which many of them, of course, at NASA were, which allowed them to be more easily maintainable. Uh, this included the suggestion that we have flowcharts that should be written as a program is developed, possibly even automated flowcharts, which uh, at the time would have been uh, an incredible concept. Um, over here we can see a, a screenshot of, uh, of some, some wonderful work that she did in the symposium um, and she's, she's basically outlining what level of documentation is required within a, within a, within a project. Um, it absolutely predates today's insistence that we have within the classroom on, on documentation. I mentioned the symposium. Uh, within the symposium, she also um, she produced a diagram which outlined the, the the relative importance of documenting and how it how it fits in with the, the management of uh, of running a software project. This is a really nice doc, um, diagram here. And what I also really like about it is that is that at the end of this paper, there's also a um, an actual verbatim account of, uh, of a panel discussion, and we can see here Mouton here is actually is contributing um, to the to the discussion. Of course, she's leading it, so it's it's wonderful. You can almost hear her voice um, emanating from this this symposium, this panel. There's a um, QR code here which will take you directly to the to the Google Box uh, rendition of this of this particular symposium. It's fascinating. So. Melba, within a lifetime, achieved a huge amount. She received an Apollo Achievement Award and an Exceptional Performance Award while she was in, um, in NASA. Uh, she passed away in 1990 at the age of 61. Melba truly left her mark on computing and mathematics within NASA, and I just wanted to celebrate uh, her life and her achievements here today. So we've examined the life and achievements of Melba and we've appreciated her role in, in the development of, uh, of maths and computing in her work for NASA. Thank you.